What's up guys, this is Sherrod talking. welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the selector ticket that was given some days ago and the best characters that you can choose in the list. Well, first of all, you can get the second ticket. I know many people don't know about this. You have to go to the exchange shop, 2.5 anniversary coin and purchase one with 4.5 thousand currency. With that said, now we can go to the banner, 2.5 Anniversary Romancing Festival Exclusive. Click on this and you'll be able to use the tickets and choose the characters that you want. But one thing we need to discuss, these characters are now off banner styles. We have 54 days left to choose. There's no rush for this. If you already choose it, well, that's okay. But if you haven't already, you can wait until the last days and see if you can get some other characters as off banners since we have plenty of good banners that will drop i'm pretty sure that you'll be summoning a lot before this selector goes away so we'll go now on the spreadsheet to check all styles that we can choose here so here we are on the spreadsheet and i will be linking it in the description but also as the pinned comment in the video so we have plenty of useful styles here. Some of them are getting a little old, but others are still amazing. Like Matriarch 1, Vanquish the Sinistrals, give access to Pin of Victory, a spell that buffs four different status and buffers are very unique styles in this game, so she's still the best recommendation. This list is not listed in a vertical order, so don't worry about the placements like we do in the cheer list that's being updated. Uh, just care about the cheer that it's presented here. We have now a new cheer called God and Matriarch 1 is there because of being off victory, being busted, but also final impress at a victory celebration because of her full negation shield and screw guard. She's a character that is good now, it'll be even better on Christmas because of a future version that gives her an AoE attack that heals the party. And uh, for that we have four different characters that are still useful. Nawal's daughter, it's a buffer, and if you got her Halloween style, now you can get this one that gives her access to a full buff. Then Halloween Princess White Rose, she now has some competition with other styles, but she can still be the best in slot, depending on the boss design. Then we have Leon, and for Leon, I need to explain. We have Stubly Light in three different characters. That being Leon, Mirza, and Gathered. Leon and Mirza are the better ones, because Leon can also uh, heal by inheritance, and then he also buffs the party with a 13 BP skill that's also useful in farming. And Mirza negates shadow damage, they are unique enough for you to want them, but you don't actually need both in most scenarios, but there are contents that lock down units to their series, like the recent Dark event, where I could use Leon on the Romancing Saga 2 series, and I used Rag Robin in the Romancing Saga 3 in Reuniverse series. So I had one healer in each type. So you don't really need Leon, but it's nice to have him, so he's still here. Then we have Rofus, still a very powerful farmer. And if you have the Remembrance Gun, he can still help you farming and remove one character from your farming to help out farming status and currencies from events. We will have three different separations between the double S tier. We'll have an SS plus, the SS, and then an SS minus. SS plus means the character is on the top of the game, although not as high to deserve a triple S grade. Then we'll have the normal double S. These are characters that work by design and can still be used in most content. And then SS minus, where we have characters that are kind of getting too old and are not on their primes anymore. So there's many useful characters in this game that can be used in different scenarios. So this type of separation can help since the number of units just increases. So here we have many characters that can help you. So on this list, we have a version of Princess White Rose that heals in the end of turn. This one has 37% chance to trigger the effect. Some people still use her instead of the Halloween version from time to time. This rock bouquet is getting down, but right now she is still useful because we got a dedicated weapon for her. She is also able to get access to Dark Wash, a spell that buff breaks. 
so you can stop a boss from buffing. We also have this Bune here just because of Aerodyne, but this skill is just so good in other versions of Bune that it's worth a PD even. Then Christmas Rupina, a farmer, Xenon is also another farmer, Final Emperor. These three characters are still useful, although not on their primes anymore. Uh, then we have Father, you can inherit Great Adventure into Mask and make him a very viable healer that works in many scenarios, although I believe he does not beat Ragnarok in most content. It's nice to have him since they sh have different weaknesses. Then Madeline is still very strong for farming, although a very risky character. Shindu is a buffer that still uh, works in GDT scenarios, although they are not so common. Uh, Mikael, still good, still strong, and can give inheritance, and then Minerva is still strong, and for use, a counter specialist. I also added information here, uh, important inheritance, yes or no. That means that some characters may be very bad, but they can give some embarrassing inheritance, and you can look if you have the character that will get access to that skill, and PD based on that. Or just go ahead and check if you got this off banner styles, if it's worth to just... Awaken the skill, train, amplify, that is need to help new players, but also veterans that don't have too much time to check information about all characters. And after that we have the SS- minus tier, with characters that can still be used, although they are not so good, newest releases made them weaker, and sometimes they don't work so well as before. I won't be commenting too much here because you have to read a lot of the information here. The resumed version is just on this part. While you can check the skill description, there is a link also to rsrstb.com where you can check the units fully and see the other uh, styles that a character has. So that's pretty nice. So there are other characters here that have interesting utility, like you can go for this Vagnus, that is actually not as good anymore, but you can use the inheritance into the newest one. So I believe it's good to read all the information if you have the time to check and get to know the game a little better. And now after this list, I'll make another one, but this time will be for the older banner that you can summon units from January up to June. So people can pity on that banner too. I hope that it will help deciding which ones to choose. With that said, thanks so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, there are links in the description of the video. Don't forget to join our Discord server where we discuss our universe and other games in general. I hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye.